Great win for the Miami Heat, and we look forward to Game Four of the series, which will take place on Tuesday. Um, Maka, you you saw this coming, but I I, I never believed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't give up on the Heat. Like yeah. it's really, we know the Lakers are good. Mm -hmm. This duo, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Davis is yeah. a powerhouse, but. You also have to look at Miami. They're suffering from injuries, which for the past few years, we find that in the finals, there's always a team that suffers from injuries. injuries you know, yeah. my Warriors had to go through that. <laughs> okay. um, so with Bam Adebayo and Dragic out on injury, it really, you can see it's really hurting them. Mm -hmm. But I love Butler. I mean, he stepped up in this game three, 40 points, 13 assists, 11 rebounds. I mean, the guy just did it across the board. Yeah. Like the offense was literally running through him and it was great. So I'm glad that they were able to, and then the rookie hero, He's been doing some consistent, amazing stuff. yeah, amazing stuff consistently. Seventeen points and Oleg with seventeen points, so it was enough for them to late in the game to yeah. overpower the the Lakers. Davis didn't play so great. He had fifteen points and five rebounds. James twenty five points, ten rebounds, um, and Morris and Kuzma with nineteen points chipping in. So they did have their bench step up in in this game but it still wasn't enough to overpower the heat and, and butler just really showing out mm. you know okay what amazes me is the fact that miami hits they're, they're hit by a lot of injuries but they were still able to pick game three against the lakers do, do you see this as a sign that they can actually get <laughs> probably game four or go all the way no not at all sadly look i love the team spirit with the heat yeah. um, i love how they play so much good basketball together as a mm. cohesive unit and then you, you take a look at the strict perimeter play that they had you know last night they kept um anthony davis out of um the three-point area they couldn't get a lot of three-pointers, you know, in that game. And then they had to keep going through the middle. Oh. And it was difficult for them. You know, sure. LeBron had to switch from being the starting point guard. He went into the center. He was one breaking up a lot of gameplay. And then, sadly, we didn't see so much of the magic of Rondo and Kuzma, you know. But then I love the fact that Caruso and Markeith Morris stepped up. However, it will be difficult for the Heat without Bam Adebayo and Dragic. Definitely, they, there's, there's that bit of edge that isn't there anymore. But then what is good for them is the fact that they can work together purposefully. Mm. However, are they going to have enough stamina and enough energy to probably go out to the, um, game four and game five and probably win? I don't see that happening. I think mm. the Lakers have it more in their arsenal to just win these finals. Do you agree? Lakers all the way? I don't <laughs> agree. I mean, okay, fine. The Lakers, it's, it's a really hard team to overpower, mm -hmm. right, with Anthony Davis and LeBron James. But I really want to focus on those injuries. If I can at least get Bam back and give me, you know, his 30-something, almost yeah. 40 minutes playing and his contributions, that's a big loss for Heat. True. And I think if we can get some guys back in the game, in this game four, the Heat can give the Lakers a run for their money. Mm. I mean, we see in game three, they turned up the defense. They did. They had a little bit defense, a different defensive assignment. Yeah. So, I mean, if they keep that defense up and with the addition of Bam or Drogic, they'll definitely compete with the Lakers. Mm. Because I, I saw Anthony Davis, he had a bit of, yeah, decent performance, but we saw most of the turnovers and um, the fouls, the on the Miami Heat, which was caused by him. And LeBron James was not up to 100% with yeah. the Lakers last night. And I, I foresee the same thing in Game 4. I think the Miami Heat will bring in a stronger defense uh, against the Lakers, and they just might pick Game 4 against these guys. But of course, LeBron James is eager, he's hungry to pick this championship. Yeah, definitely. But one thing you mentioned, turnovers. I think LeBron James and Anthony Davis, they had like eight turno turnovers mm. in the first quarter. Like that's a lot of turnovers True. to come out and start the game. So definitely 19 turnovers on the game. They do need to control the ball better if they want to keep Miami out. Um, but I, I believe with an addition of one of the players that are out, they'll definitely put in work with the Lakers. Mm. Yeah, you know, they should. <laughs> <laughs> you know, t talking about Bam Adebayo, and I heard something on the news some, some, some days ago about him coming down to play for um, mm. Nigeria, the Tigers <laughs> of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. He will be a good addition to the Tigers of Nigeria if he decides to come play for us. Yeah. But you know, most of, the, most of the time, these guys decide to dump Nigeria for some other country. Yeah. But yes, if he agrees to play for Nigeria, perfect addition for the Tigers. Definitely. I mean, Bam is, he didn't win it, but he's definitely one of the most improved mm -hmm. players 
in this season, definitely. And you can see how he's working inside yeah. and really being dominant for the Miami Heat. He would be a lovely addition mm -hmm. <laughs> to the Tigers. I don't know how um, sure that is, but I mean, come on. He should come and play for his, his home. <laughs> his, his home country. <laughs> and um, for the NBA, we hear that um, he just the NBA commissioner said um, the games will be resuming possibly in January 2021. But if you ask me, I think we should finish off with the playoffs and see how far the COVID-19 pandemic has gone. And if we're secure, if you're sure enough that it can kick off next, next year from different venues, because I don't think we're gonna have the whole NBA season played in Walt Disney. Right. It's a tough one. I mean, we see they're doing it in Premier League and mm -hmm. how that's kind of suffering. You have sure. some players that are catching COVID. Um, but we don't even know when a real vaccine is going to come, come and how widely spread it will be. So how long are you going to hold the season for? Are you going mm. to hold it and start in April, May or June? I think that will really just throw off the equilibrium and the yeah. dates and everything. So I think they might just have to give it a go and find the way they're doing in the bubble, all the measures they're taking to keep players healthy and mm -hmm. everything. I think they'll just probably have to find a way to do that outside the bubble. Mm, true. Okay, your quick prediction, uh, game four, who wins it? Look, Lakers all the way. I, oh. think, I think the <laughs> difference between the Lakers and the Heat right now, mm. and what just tips it for the Lakers is their bench. You mm. take a look at the Lakers bench, I mean, when you have someone like Cosma and Rondo coming up from the bench, Caruso, Markif Morris, even Dwight Howard putting in good performances in the playoffs so far, I mean, that just tips it for the Lakers. I think they will definitely get the win. Mm. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, Mark doesn't agree. With I don't point. agree. Of course not. But if if um, the MVP awards and the most defensive player of the year awards were to take place after these finals, mm. do you think um, Yanis would deserve to win it, or will hand it over to Anthony Davis? Obviously, Anthony mm. Davis. I mean, we can't argue with that. He yeah. has definitely played a lot better in the bubble. I mean, they're in the finals. Yeah. He's been consistent, putting up points, and even defensively. So, I mean, I, I, I like that the winnings went to okay. Giannis, but <laughs> if we did it after the bubble, you have to give credit where credit is due. All right, I'm looking forward to the new NBA season when the Golden State Warriors will be back. And I just hope that they can be back stronger because I love Golden State Warriors and uh, I love Steph Curry. I'm hoping that they can actually come back strong to see how far they can go in the new season. But of course, thank you, Maka, as always, always pretty beautiful and uh, <laughs> great you. analysis from the world of basketball. Thank you. It's always a pleasure.